Well, I'd like to see more independence because I think people now are returning to shopping local. There's quite a few cafes, but there's not many. There's a lot of grocery shops, but there's not much of the other shops, you know, like clothes shops in. You know what I mean? More shops to be opened up. Obviously, the market's now become fuller now, so we're getting quite good with the market here. The people do appreciate it in Wilton that we come once a week um, because obviously there's only a small amount of shops here. I'd like to see more variety of shops instead of the same old shops everywhere. Just the encouragement of young people to get into business so that there is a, an incentive for them to do so and to bring community back because if you don't have a shop in a town or a city you start to lose community and people go out to supermarkets that are outside of town and suddenly the town has lost its heartbeat and people become uh, disconnected. Some of the empty shops uh, operating again and just over the road we got Lloyds Bank been empty for two or three years now and uh, also, uh, Archit and Garner, they packed up some years ago, we used to do delicatessen and foods like that. And uh, I think we want a little bit more competition. It's lovely now it's opened up, certainly on Thursdays, because it's very friendly, brings people in, people actually come into Shaftesbury for a coffee. I, I was wondering, um, like for kids, there's no McDonald's for kids, so something like that. It always just seems like it's dying a little bit because there's nothing for young people especially. It's either populated by coffee shops, middle class, like um, quite expensive boutiques or uh, charity shops. I think what could be done supporting new and upcoming businesses, especially from younger people and younger families and stuff to support them to be able to actually trade by bringing down like rent prices, council tax prices for those um, businesses. I quite like it when it's uh, pedestrianised, so um, obviously the vans need to do their deliveries, but anything where you can walk around is, is very nice. Well, it's nice when it's pedestrianised, <laughs> especially on a Thursday, because people can feel safe just to move around the market. Well, I'm actually on the town council, so the things we're looking at are improving parking, improving bus services, and, uh, and also we are um, in discussion with Dorset Council about how, whether or not we can pedestrianise the high street permanently. In other words, sort of, you know, certain times of the day, every day of the week, it would be closed for shopping. And We need shops, we need individual shops, um, butchers, um, bakers, um, greengrocers, all selling local stuff so that we don't have to have it shrink wrapped and brought to supermarkets and you know coming from Australia or New Zealand or other countries. The, the issue now is that the big stores have closed so like the uh, British Home Stores and Debenhams have closed and they're big sites and it'd be really good to see something go into there. In that so many premises are empty and uh, and it's sort of gone quiet and it's a shame for all the tourists and local people. Some new fresh shops, I think that's about all if the government could help with actually the um, what they have to pay to rent the shops I think is a bit excessive and I think it does price a lot of shops out of the high street which we could probably have back again. I need to get the butchers shops and that more butcher shops and things like that open again, really. Um, there's, there's a lot of charity shops, the high streets are dying really, aren't they? To provide the British High Street, you need to revise your rates and obviously the rent on all your premises. In Salisbury it's just too high, you know, it's impossible to run a business and, you know, pay your bills with the, the way the rates are in Salisbury. That's why. Famous chip shop, Stobie's. It's been closed now for two years. Move, family, move, family, move, family.